literally this is the most unfun things that I could challenge myself on. It's not fun at all to go miles and miles of sand at all. It's not fun, especially if you're new at it. All right, I'm supposed to take it faster now, but dang it. These tires, <laughs> these 50 50 tires, not as good as I thought they were. All right, guys, I'm at Wildcat Pass again. I'm just screwing around back here. I need to find some privacy to let off a little bit of the fluid. But anyway, I am out here to uh, hit the uh, sand. I'm here to hit Cave Creek Wash. Now, there is a wash right here that ultimately gets to Verde River, uh, probably joins, I think it joins with Cave Creek Wash, but it isn't the same. Um, I'll show you uh, how to get to the top end of Cave Creek Wash. But uh, in just a minute, but I just wanted to stop and get myself configured here. On my way here, I'm trying out my new saddle, my new uh, seat, which is a Corbin seat, and I used or the carbon fiber material. I made a mistake. I should have gone leather, maybe. I don't know. But um, the issue I'm having is, it, I mean, it's a comfortable seat, but the problem is I forgot how dependent I was on slip factor. When I slow down, I literally am sliding forward. Speaking of sliding forward. Um, and I guess in the future, as I use this saddle, I had to really pinch my pinch my knees against the gas tank to keep from literally sliding right into the handlebars. So I don't know. Maybe I'll find some kind of sticky gel or something like that to put on that. I don't know. If anybody has has any ideas, let me know. Uh, you might be able to see. Uh, maybe I didn't mention it before. I got a red roost protector. This one's a little better. It's got, um, can't see it, but uh, it's got side protectors on it. So that, because uh, that's how I broke my rib last time I injured myself. So this should be better. It is very warm in here, though, and it's very nice. And that means it's also cushy. It's got some cushion. Whereas the other one I was been, I've been wearing all the time, that gray one, it's just plastic that goes right over. Anyway, so Cape Creek Wash. Let's head on over there, and I'll show you uh, how to get there if you're in Arizona and you want to go check it out. Okay, guys, here is Wildcat Pass. Um, this is the uh, uh, Bartlett Lake Dam Road, I guess it's called. But just keep on going down this road. Wildcat Pass is down that way. Uh, about two miles or so. Camp Creek Wash. See that? Camp Creek. And here we go. Now I can go just a little bit further ahead and look at these signs. I've never seen them before. Alright, got it. Okay guys. So this is Camp Creek Wash. I'll stop here and talk a bit. So today, literally this is the most unfun things that I could challenge myself on. It's not fun at all to go miles and miles of sand at all. It's not fun, especially if you're new at it. What I want to do is get better at it, and the better you get at sand, the, uh, especially as you start to get in shape, the more fun it gets. I'm not there yet, um, but I'm getting there. I'm actually starting to hate it a lot less than I used to. But that's because uh, I'm building up muscle memory. So this is Camp Creek Wash. It goes about 14 miles down to uh, the Rio Verde River, uh, which is the river that goes um, that comes out of Bartlett Lake. I'm going to go ahead and go down all the way, and if I have the energy, I'm going to come back up. And if I still have any energy left, I'm going to go down again. I don't know that I'll have energy going down the first time, so we'll see what happens. But uh, again, um, this is sand training. I've picked up some hints and tips as I've been cycling over the last 
few months, so I'm just going to share them with you, um, despite the fact that I haven't mastered them yet. Um, first and foremost, the best thing to do is to fight the default knee-jerk reaction to slow down. You have to actually pull the throttle open and uh, keep it up. And the idea is you want to get the front wheel, the front tire up, the front, the whole front end up out of the sand. Because if it digs down into the sand, it's going to just uh, go flop around. So keep the throttle open. I struggle with that. This is something I actually struggle with because I get that knee-jerk, man. I, I want to slow down. Look at that. I got exactly 3,000 miles. Perfect. That's amazing. <laughs> so anyway, so the next thing is, uh, like I said, keep the weight off the front, which means if you're going to sit down, sit as close to the back as you can so that uh, all the weight is on the back end, which is digging down into the tr for traction to get sand going, and the front end is freed up. And think of it like a, a boat on water, or like a sled on water. If, you, if you're going high speed, uh, you want to you wanna be like skimming the top and let that front end skid around. That's the main thing, but also uh, if you can and you have the energy, which I don't, stand up. Get off the seat and use your feet and your legs to steer the bike. And that's another thing I'm trying to learn muscle memory for. I do not have much energy for that. That is very difficult for me, but it's something that I need to get comfortable with. Speaking of standing up, there's two kinds of standing up. There's the energy saving position, I think it's called. Uh, and then there's the aggressive stance. On sand, you want the aggressive stance. That's why it's difficult because you can suddenly get thrown down real fast. Unless it's shallow sand. If it's shallow sand, it's no problem to, to get in the uh, energy saving stance. The idea is you should be able, if you're in the energy saving stance, which is basically an upright position and you're, you're not burning any energy just, just standing, you should be able to jump down into the aggressive stance as soon as you detect an opportunity to dig in and, and fight with whatever's in front of you, uh, wrestle with it. Um, but try not to fight. Another thing I picked up is just for myself is you know, people have been saying, when you're on sand, try not to fight with, like insist on going the way you want to go like you would on asphalt because that's just going to make you miserable. Instead, let the bike go where it's going to go. Tell the bike where you want it to go, but let the bike go where it's going to go. It's like a bratty 12-year-old kid, <laughs> you know. Discipline it, but don't force it to the point that it, you end up hurting it or yourself. So if it wants to go left, let it go left, and then keep trying to nudge it to the right, which really that means don't uh, hold on to the the handlebars as, as tight as you can. Get rid of that death grip, which is really difficult to get rid of when you're first starting out, which I'm starting to loosen up. But instead, like, literally loosen up. I always visual myself doing this, you know, blah, 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 you know, and just let the bike go in every direction I want to go. It wants to go. So let's try this. I'm, I'm obviously, I'm learning this as I go. Uh, but that's what I've picked up. And then I've made a little bit of headway, a little bit of progress. So I'm scaling up here. But um, today is Honestly, I, uh, I'm actually not, this is not going to be very fun, but I'm, I, if I can master this, it's going to start getting fun. So let's get this out of the way, eh? Here we go. I'm standing up right now. It's shallow, shallow, man. And shifting is also difficult. <laughs> Telling you what, it is scary. Okay, so, so far I'm not doing well. I've gone slow. I'll tell you what, it's scary. I need to warm up. Shut the other in the 
choosing the middle line of them. It is really hard to convince myself to speed up instead of slow down. It's a straight over right. I'm going to go uh, right. Oh yeah, by the way, Camp Creek Wash is also called the 413. FR413. not to depth grip it, but still am. All I can do is uh, nod my head. Yo, bring it on down. Uh, it's tight again. Uh, boy, this is the scary stuff right here. Here come some ATVs, they're probably going to help me. Yeah, they're kind enough to ask me if I'm alright. Sure, thank you. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Got it. Got it? Yeah, thank you. Just spun out a little bit or something? Oh yeah, you can see how. It's some deep shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Got, you. you got it? Yeah. Okay. You good? Yeah, thank you.
How you doing? What's that? The bike? CRF 150L. It's a dual sport. 250. 250. Yeah, it's just a little putter. Heavy putter for because it's a dual sport. I'm a new rider, so I'm out here to train on sand miserably. So you got a pretty legit setup here. What's that? You hold your phone and yeah. your speedometer, everything. How is this, how do these tires do in that deep sand? They're they're fifty fifties. A little sketchy. So they're not very good for sand. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. You get, where, function. you get where you're you know you don't have much traction, it's uh you gotta work for it a little bit with those tires they got. If it recently rained, they're awesome. But it didn't. Yeah. So they're not. <laughs> I was out here with like 10 buddies and we, my uh, clutch, like if I could just, it was starting to slip, it was getting hot. And we made it here and then my clutch just like totally like fried, like my bike won't even take off. So my clutch is completely gone. Luckily it was here. So we have like a designated spot that a truck can easily go to versus, you know, when we were like 10 miles in there and braking there, that was, uh, I just bought that thing like last week, that bike that I just got out there. Yeah, I'm pretty hard on my clutch. Sand I'm, I'm surprised I haven't lost that already. Sand will do it. Sand will go through a clutch for sure. But yeah, this is a cool bike. What year is this? It's 16. A 16. This is a good bike to start on for sure. Yeah, this, this is uh, this sand's kind of kind of tricky a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it gets, yeah, I fell already. I mean, once. It's a little tricky. Like you know, like kind of have to kind of move around on the bike and keep like an outside edge like keep your elbows up and just just because it's sand <laughs> well or, or grow like me and duck walk it <laughs> i've do that in some spots back way back in there too there were like the canyon walls and stuff oh. yeah i just i'm not confident enough to be able to just use my feet to steer you're out here by yourself yeah it's kind of ballsy <laughs> yeah my name's Colin, by the way. John. John. Nice to meet you. John. Nice to meet you. Next weekend, I'm going to uh, California to get some professional dirt training. Dirt training? What do you mean? Dirt bike Just training. Who, uh, what's, what, like, where is it at? What, what's the deal with it? Uh, it's a company called Moto Ventures. Moto Ventures. Okay, I've heard of them. They do, they do things like down the Baja. Like, they'll go and they'll take people down to Mexico and take oh, free run. The Baja Valley. Yeah, they might do some tours like that, but this is just a, a, a five-hour dirt training, you know, to teach you about sand and hills and that sort of thing. I probably won't learn a lot new, but at least I'll be have I will have all know that I learned right. Yeah, yeah, it's good to have like a good found. If you're going to ride a motorcycle, have a good foundation underneath you of like a skill set, and um, just always kind of keep in mind and practice basic techniques. To stay yeah. Smooth. Well, this guy wrote the most popular dirt bike skills book on Amazon. Okay. And the highest rated. Very cool. Yeah. Right well, that sounds like that'll be a fun deal. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. Is this the line? No. Okay. Good. We're just hanging out. Okay. <laughs> Although there's someone coming out. <laughs> I can't come go back, man. I'm done beat. <laughs> how much gas does the thing hold? Gallons, three gallons. Three gallons with the upgrade. Stock, it was two the gallons. Seats like the stock. Or no. New seat. New seat. New seat. The thing is bitching. <laughs> What's that? I said that little bike is bitching. I would totally ride that. It's fun. I don't know. It's, it's versatile, but it doesn't do so versatile on technical dirt. You have to just carry momentum. Small bore bike, you have to ride it a little different. Like that's a 500 two stroke. Like um, like a 125 two-stroke or an XR 250 or this this kind of bike through a lot of the sand, you have to keep your speed up, and carry momentum because it doesn't have the power. Like if you like all of a sudden try to slow way down into a turn and try to power out of it, you don't have the power just to take off. Like you gotta carry. You just gotta practice. It sounds yeah. like you're going to a, a clinic. Building. You're driving all the way to California for that, huh? We got a bed and breakfast all set up and everything. That's sick. <laughs> right on. So you got a pickup truck, you just love this thing up and haul over? No, well, I've got a, I'll probably haul it on a trailer. Okay. Right on, man.
Give me a chair. One other thing, guys, is uh, about the sand is um, if you want to get good at it, be light, be lightweight. Don't be a fatty like me. Be thin. Fat people dig into the sand. <laughs> it's sad, but true. All right. That's it, guys. I, uh, I'm out of the energy. I can't do it again. I was hoping to do it two, two and a half round trips, but I can only do one, half a, I can only go one way down. That's it. And after that, I, I just don't want that heavy a workout right now. I have eaten at Subway on my way back towards civilization and um, I'm uh, actually I think I'm gonna head back call me a glutton for punishment but I just feel like my day is not fully spent if I didn't push myself a little bit further so I'm gonna go back and maybe right around well get past some more all right if you want to take Camp Creek wash the other way like on the bottom side which is probably the of what some people would consider the normal way, take it from the, the river and then go up, go up the wash. The way to get there is take dynamite and just keep going east. And dynamite will turn into Rio Verde Drive. You get to a T intersection, you turn left. Needle Rock Road is where you want to go.
out there. Take a pass for now, but dang it, it's tired. It's it's, it's tired. Not as good as I thought they were. And my GoPro ran out of juice right about here. Um, I didn't get to record the best part. Um, I did make it back. I did not fall again. Um, but I also managed to get, uh, I went over to Wildcat Pass and rode the trails again a little bit for about uh, five or ten minutes. And I was am amazed at uh, how I was able to just fly around all over those trails like a dirt biker. Um, I mean, the the sand completely conked out all of my fear of everything. So um, apparently, sand is a good trainer for uh, just being a good rider in general. So uh, in terms of just tackling whatever's under your tires. So I highly recommend doing sand just for the sake of muscle memory across the board beyond sand. Alright guys, well thanks for watching, and please feel free to bump up my subscriber count all the way up from 9, last I checked, to 10. Because <laughs> um, subscribers matter. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.